Hello and welcome to PH Latest Updates channel. Today, we bring you exciting news for the Philippine Coast Guard. According to the FB post of Bones QPH, the Department of Budget and Management just released the special allotment release order amounting to 1.161 billion pesos for the funding requirements of 40 units of Seacraft. The 11-meter high-speed boat acquisition project of the Philippine Coast Guard that was supposed to be concluded by 2020 has suffered a delay due to the failure of the winning proponent to deliver the boats to the Philippine Coast Guard. However, with the release of the Saro, the project has a new winning proponent, and it will be put into motion for implementation in the coming weeks. This is fantastic news for the Philippine Coast Guard and the people of the Philippines. The acquisition of the speedboats will include mounts for a 50 and 30 caliber machine guns, communication and navigation equipment, boat trailers and spares, training for the crew, and boat servicing for a specific number of years. According to Bones QPH, the acquisition will join the other high-speed boats already in the Philippine Coast Guard inventory, such as the joint US and Philippine-funded Metal Shark 32 high-speed boats and the Japanese-donated 12 and 15-meter high-speed boats. This development is an excellent boost to the Philippine Coast Guard's capabilities and will go a long way in helping them perform their duties effectively. In conclusion, the release of the Special Allotment Release Order from the Department of Budget and Management is fantastic news for the Philippine Coast Guard and the people of the Philippines. The 11-meter high-speed boat acquisition project will be implemented soon, and it will include essential equipment and training for the crew. This acquisition will join other high-speed boats in the Philippine Coast Guard's inventory, strengthening their capabilities and ability to perform their duties effectively. We look forward to more developments in this project and commend the efforts of the Department of Budget and Management and the Philippine Coast Guard in making this possible. Thank you for tuning in to PH Latest Updates.